What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. Today, it's been a week since the world changed and many people have been forced to live a new reality. For today's lesson, I've picked 10 expressions and idioms that contain the word bullet. I think they are quite common and useful. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and a pen and let's get going. Before we start, I just want to say a few words about the war that hit close to home. As you may know, I was born and raised in Ukraine and all my family is living there, except my mom, who is here with me in Valencia, Spain. And we also have lots of friends in Ukraine. It's devastating and very painful to see how your home country and Ukrainians are being destroyed because of one insane person. One of my Ukrainian friends, Tanya, asked me to let you know that Ukrainians are a very peaceful nation and they only want peace and love. She also told me that we can't even imagine what it feels like to be there hiding in a basement or in a bomb shelter and basically having your life at risk. And they are especially worried about their children who have to go through this horrendous situation. And I also have a niece who is six years old and also a nephew who is 25 and he's fighting for his country. I really hope that the world will help Ukraine stop this madness and the culprits will get their comeuppance. Pray for Ukraine. And now let's get started with our lesson. The first idiom on my list today is to bite the bullet. It means to force yourself to do something unpleasant or difficult and to be brave in a hard situation. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, many Ukrainians bit the bullet and enlisted in the army to defend their country, like my nephew did. And one more example, we have no choice but to bite the bullet and tighten our belts. And in this example, we've got a C2 idiom, to tighten your belt. It means to spend less money than you did before because you have less money. And now let's move on to the second idiom, to dodge a bullet. Unlike in the first idiom, here, we have to use an indefinite article to dodge a bullet. And it means to manage to avoid a difficult situation or a very serious problem. And the verb to dodge means to avoid being hit by something by moving quickly to one side. The first example, without a doubt, I dodged a bullet by moving to Spain nearly 20 years ago. And one more example, in hindsight, I dodged a bullet when we broke up. Let's get to number three, to take a bullet. It means to put yourself in danger or difficulty or to accept blame in order to protect someone. The first example, he never faces the consequences. There is always someone in his team who takes a bullet. And one more example, I love you so much that I take a bullet for you. Number four, to sweat bullets. It means to be extremely nervous or worried about something. If I were in Ukraine, I'd be sweating bullets. And one more example, he was sweating bullets before his first ever speech in English. And now let's move on to number five, to get the bullet. It's used in the UK and it means to lose your job. Two examples. The first one, a lot of people got the bullet due to the pandemic. And one more example here, the company went bankrupt and everybody got the bullet. And guys, before we continue and learn more expressions, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to English Bits if you haven't subscribed yet. 
Thank you very much. And now let's continue with the lesson number six, Band-Aid on a bullet wound. It means that someone attempts to deal with a serious problem in an inadequate way. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, at first, the measures taken by the European Union and the USA wear a band-aid on a bullet wound. And there is a similar expression, band-aids don't fix bullet holes. Taylor Swift has a song called Bad Blood and she sings, band-aids don't fix bullet holes. You say sorry just for show. If you live like that, you live with ghosts. Number seven, faster than a speeding bullet. It means extremely fast. And now a few examples. The first one, the new train is faster than a speeding bullet. And one more example, his car is way faster than mine. Don't worry, you can't outrun a speeding bullet. And now I just want to number eight, silver bullet. It means a magical and simple solution to a very complicated problem. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I wish there was a silver bullet to stop this madness. Two more to go, number nine, we've got an adjective, bulletproof. It means designed to protect from damage. For example, journalists are wearing bulletproof vests. And it has one more meaning, which is not subject to correction, alteration or modification. It's something solid and indestructible. Let's put it into a simple sentence. Their plan is bulletproof. And last but not least, Number 10, a bullet point. It's a symbol, usually a black circle, which is used in text to separate things on a list. For example, it's advisable to use bullet points when writing a proposal and report. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned some new expressions and idioms. And I want to send love and support to my family, friends, and all Ukrainians. I'm very proud of you. We stand with Ukraine. Hand in there. Slava Ukraini. And of course, thank you for your valuable time and for joining me today. See you next Wednesday with the shirts and then next Sunday with our long lesson. Remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Have a nice day. Ciao!